Brayden was born July 11th, 2006. Brayden's biological dad and I knew that we weren't each other's everything. So I decided I was going to have to be good at this on my own. How you doing? How you doing? Poopy. <laughs> the years since I had stopped wrestling had been a little tough. Um, been a guy here. I'm going to hell. We're drinking. We talk about sport being a religion, right? Like, it keeps you on track. It keeps you doing the right thing. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Without it, I lost my focus, and I was in a pretty bad place. When I had Brayden, I knew I had to get control of my life again. And the best way I knew how to do that was sport. One of the days, my high school wrestling coach told me his son was at a jiu-jitsu school down the street. So I went and looked all over the place for this jiu-jitsu school, because I'd never heard of that before. And I saw what they were doing. They were doing, it looked like wrestling, but there was like submissions, and they had all these pads on, and they were like hitting each other. And I was just like, whoa, what is that? Man, get underneath, open, feet are tight. The coach's name was Man, Mauricio. Come underneath. Usually goes anywhere, and I have my hands here. I respected him immediately so much. The way he talked, the way he treated people, he had this like charisma about him. I'm from Brazil. Whereabouts in Brazil? Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro. How long? Everybody knows how to fight. I was immediately attracted to him. And um, one day, I get this text from Mauricio saying, I'm feeling like going skydiving today. And I was like, actually, yes. Who are you here with today? Who's? Kat. Hi, Kat. How are you? Have you done this before? I was nervous. I was like, I'm going to be awkward. What do you even talk about? Like, there's only so much jujitsu you can talk about. He gave me butterflies. I think your friend's a little nervous. Very nervous. I think so. She's scared. She talked a lot of shit. She was crying. I was so nervous and I was shaking. And he's sitting there, like, pointing and laughing at me, like, like, I thought you were this tough chick. I'm like, I am. started dating, Brayden was just one year old. I think pretty quickly we knew that we were going to be a family. 